no if we look at let's say e person let's say we have got abhishek who weighs 90 kg and we have got aishwarya who weighs 50 kg using the two of them and we have given a two sided weighing balance what all we can be if we keep aishwarya one side we will get 50 kg if we give abhishek one side we can weigh 90 kg abhishek and aishwarya one side we can weigh 140 kg but even in one more thing we can be abhishek this side aishwarya this side so whenever it becomes equal abhishek's weight is 90 aishwarya's weight is 50 so the remaining rice when we get is going to be 40 kg if they become equal so now what all we saw here is in the case of rupees in the case of bags when person came we could not tell him take this much and give me this much simply if i am having a 1 rupee bag and 3 rupee bag i was not able to give 2 rupees because i cannot tell him take 3 rupees and give me 1 rupee bag but if i am having 1 kg weight and 3 kg weight if i keep 3 kg weight this side and 1 kg weight this side when i balance it equal this side rice is going to be 2 kg so using 1 kg and 3 kg we can give 1 we can give 2 we can give 3 and combining them we can give 4 so now we are going to use powers of 3 what is the we need to weigh anything from 1 kg to 121 kg we are going to use powers of 3 what is the minimum number of weights needed minimum number of weights needed to weigh anything from 1 kg to 121 kg in one time we we'll use 1 kg weight we we'll use 3 kg weight using that we can you give anything up to 4 kg next weight we use is 9 kg check it now using 1 and 3 we can give anything up to 4 kg now how to give 5 if i keep 9 this side and 1 plus 3 this side this side rice i am going to get is 5 when they become equal if i need 6 kg 9 this side 3 this side so i get rice equal to 6 so using these weights we can give anything up to 13 kg 1 kg 1 weight 3 kg 1 kg 9 kg so what we have learned is we have to use powers of 3 we can give anything up to their summation check it up to 13 we can give anything using these three weights so from 1 kg to 121 kg we will take 1 kg 1 weight 3 kg 1 weight 9 kg the next power of 3 9 kg next weight will take 27 kg and next weight till the time summation becomes total 121 otherwise next we would have taken next power of 3 so if we have to give anything from 1 kg to 121 kg we need five different weights powers of 3 one of 1 kilo one of 3 kilo one of 9 kilo one of 27 kilo and one of 8 1 kilo total we get 121 kilos so total five weights will be needed so what we learned is in case of bags we need powers of 2 in case of weights we need powers of 3 because here in case of bags we cannot say take this and subtract this give me back 
but in case of weights means using bags of 3 rupees and 1 rupee we cannot give to but using 3 kg and 1 kg we can give 2 kg so for bags in the case of money question it was powers of 2 in case of weights it's powers of 